Hello all and welcome to Tactical Safety. This video is going to be another example of why you need to always be armed, whether you're at home or at the workplace. Check this out. Right now, South Fulton police are searching for two suspects accused of killing a store clerk while trying to rob the business. Such a sad story. Family members telling us the victim was gunned down while trying to protect his sister, who was also working in the store when this all happened. Tracy Amick Pierre live along Welcome All Road where this all happened, Tracy. Well, this convenience store is still closed this evening, but all day customers have been coming here to leave a flower, a candle or a card and pay tribute to Tony Zanabe, a man they say will be greatly missed. I jumped up from the table. I saw the side from the side. I said, no, not the quick pick. And one child, my Monique Hawkins has shopped at Quick Pick Food Mart on Welcome All Road every day for years, so she's friends with the workers. She says she was crushed to learn the store manager, Tony Zanabe, was shot to death at the store Tuesday night. And so I was just like, tears, tears. South Fulton police released this photo of the two suspects they're seeking. While the suspects' faces were covered, police hope someone recognizes their clothes. Police believe the pair first robbed a dollar store two miles away. They then drove to the quick pick to rob it too. Hawkins says she'll come back to the quick pick when it reopens, but it won't be the same without Sanabe. He always gave me my favorite lottery cards <laughs> and his favorite things he would always say was good luck, blessings. Now, police say the two suspects may be driving in a bronze Chevy Malibu, and they're asking that anyone with any information reach out to them. The store clerk complied with the robber's request and still ended up dead, which is why I always say it is imperative to keep a firearm with you at all times. If you work in a store, that's a prime target to get robbed. And it's imperative they keep a firearm on you because those guys, they both had on masks, as you can see, and they had, they had robbed the Dollar General store down the street. So no, these are some petty thieves because how much cash is gonna be on hand at a convenience store and at Dollar General? Not much. They probably walked away with not even a hundred bucks from each establishment. But if you're working in a store like that and you see two guys come in like that, they're looking around and they have masks on. That's the main thing because they don't have the mask mandate now. COVID is still around, but uh, these places don't have the signs on the doors that say everyone has to have a mask on to enter the store or something like that. Because if I worked in the store and whether it was one person or two people came in with masks on like that um, and they're looking around, my gun is going to already be out and ready. I might have it. It'll be in my hand, but it might be like right under the counter where they can't see it, but I will be ready to bring the weapon up and fire upon anyone who's trying to rob me. And that right there is proof that even if you comply with the robbery, you can still be shot. Someone is robbing you. They don't care about your life and your well-being. They've already proven that by trying to rob you. So if someone tries to rob you and if they look away for even a second, that is enough time to draw your weapon from concealment and fire. But that's only if you practice your draw. I tell everybody, and for those of you who don't know, I'm also um, NRA certified firearms instructor. And also I was a police officer for over 12 years. I tell everyone that when you buy a new weapon, when you buy a new holster, it is imperative to practice your draw. People should have a two second draw from concealment to first shot. I can do it in less than a second. That's because I've been doing it for years. But the average person should be able to do that within two seconds because that means that if someone's robbing you and you're not, you're not able to draw your weapon right then, but if they turn their head to the point where you can see their ear, if you have a two second draw to first shot, then you can, you can launch a counter ambush successfully, which means you can get shots off successfully before they have a chance to return fire at you. So get to the range and get a good quality holster. That's the thing. You don't get these garbage nylon holsters with the straps on them. Those are trash. 
I highly recommend Concealment Express. Now, I used to not like inside the waistband holsters, but I was in uh, Seattle a couple years ago, and I was at a party, and one of the guys at the party, we were talking about firearms, and he showed me his Concealment Express holster for his Glock 30, which is the mid-size 45. So I told him, I was like, I don't like the inside the waistband holsters. They're uncomfortable because I had one. I had a cheap one a long time ago when I was in the Air Force, and I didn't like it, so I threw it away. Um, and he said, man, try this on. I tried it on. I was like, man, I said, wow. This is a very, very comfortable holster. And I went on the website and ordered my first one right there while I was talking to him. So now that's all I carry every day. Also, Phobus makes a great holster too. There's a lot of inside the waistband holsters that are excellent quality, um, like We The People holsters, uh, Skydis holsters. They all make great retention type holsters because you have to have what's called passive retention on your holster, which means when you put your gun in, it clicks in place. So if you have to run, if you have to hop a fence, anything like that, you're not going to lose your firearm. And it's important to have a holster that you can that you can reholster without having to look at thumb snaps and trying to snap it and all that stuff. Shouldn't have to go through all that. But like I said, you need to always be armed. And I'm scheduling firearms classes for um, August 13th, 20th, and 27th. Those are all Saturdays. And the links for those classes will be in the description. So all you got to do is click on the link and register. So remember to stay armed, stay vigilant, and stay tactical. We'll see you next time.